So much for the cafeteria idea. <laughs> Boston, are you there? I just got the power turned on and a door opened up here. They use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. Boston, you won't believe where I am. How did you get there? I'm in a place filled with alien technology. The most fantastic things I've ever seen. And the machines are working. What are they doing? I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Don't go too fast, Maggie. I'll be careful, Boston. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. You could have been killed. Gee, I guess this isn't safe. But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. Mm -hmm. I handled it just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. Uh, it does matter. <laughs> uh, Maggie, good work. <clears throat> Thanks, Boston. Oh. Not from love, are you? Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. interesting to travel in one of those now I know what my pet hamster felt like. <laughs> oh, yeah you sure do my friend <laughs> oh, weakened the door okay I need some help to pry this door open yeah Maggie would be nice if you were around. Ah, oh, damn it. There's a room door. Nothing could open this door. Hmm. Uh, outside? Oh, yeah. Plenty of time to start to death. <laughs> I'm pretty pessimistic. Oh, I told that was Sorry. Maggie were here, I'd tell her not to take a chance on swimming in the same water with a large yield. It may or may not think of her as dinner. 
So maybe I'll take my own advice and stay on dry land. ghost. The last one pointed the way down into the Nexus. Of course, that's how Brink died. It doesn't look safe to walk there. This thing is so transparent, it's almost invisible. Hmm. Okay, only one way out. A bunch of displays set into the walls. Inscriptions here and there. I'd say it looks like some kind of museum. Strange glowing crystals. I have two crystals. Oh. Symbols written on a plate. Looks like an alphabet. Oh yeah, that totally looks like an alphabet. <laughs> what the? How did he get the idea? Yeah, that, that would have been my first impression. Alphabet. Totally clear, stupid. <laughs> there's a display, there's a display. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our starship. Is the island, center island, five spires. Okay. These are obviously visitors. They're going down somewhere. Hmm. Could this be some sort of burial chamber? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like they brought something down and then something grew from it. Well, it might be a metaphor for a death and life. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's another rod. Good. Rods are always good. Another one of these engravings on a stick. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a red one. Okay. A hole inside the mountain. <laughs> that canister sure packs a punch. Yeah. And there's a door. Oh, Maggie! There's a door! Boston! Maggie, I found you. I wasn't aware that I was missing. You know what I mean. I found a way to get where you are. How did she get there? Through the museum, back that way. That's nice, Boston. If that's the museum, then I guess this is the library. I found out how to open doors back in the Nexus. There's a tram that leads out here. Look, Boston, I think it's great you're finding things out, but I'm trying to concentrate here. I feel like I'm so close to making sense of some of this stuff, and I just want to stay here and keep working. All right? Sure, of course. So no helping with the door? I just... anyway, Guess not. I know where to find you, and you know how to get out of here if you want to. Thanks. Yes. When I learn something, I'll call you on the box, okay? All right. All right, yes. I, I won't bug you anymore right now. <laughs> I, I, I won't bug you anymore. Or maybe she just walked through one of these underground tunnels? I don't know. Must be. Actually, it's the only chance to get there. Robbins. I'm sorry Brink is dead. But I don't think it's right for you to blame me for it. I don't blame you. It's not safe for us to be separated. It's not safe for us to be together, either. Mm -hmm. She's got a point there. In fact, Boston, it's just plain not safe. <laughs> How are you doing with your data retrieval? I'm retrieving. I'm just not understanding. But you're pretty sure it's their language. I don't know. Just like the museum you found, I think this library was meant to be used by lots of different species. I think this language may have been especially designed to be easy to translate. Hmm. If it's easy, why is it taking so long? <laughs> it's easy compared to translating a genuinely alien language that you've never heard spoken aloud. Give me a break, Boston. Yeah, show some sympathy, I think man. I've got a handle on a couple of the symbols, but I have to test it out and see if it makes sense. I'm thinking that maybe we should consider teaming up again. Why? I think the answer to getting home is here in these displays. You go out and explore like you have been, and I'll work at getting us home. When I figure it out, I'll take you with me. No charge. <laughs> Thank you. I found this in the museum. Can you read it? It's not the same set of symbols I'm finding in the database here. I don't think it's designed for strangers to be able to read it. Hmm. But it was designed to be taken. Okay. Thanks. So, nothing more to do here, but we've got another stick. Another rod, so maybe... Oh, there's a panel. Can't open it.
Back to the Nexus. Okay, the next one we had was a red one. Okay, the first one was purple and this is around... okay. So maybe red would belong to this one here. So what was the red one? Okay, red, blue, green, okay. But this one is red, okay, nice. And the other one was blue. Yeah, that one blue. Okay. Green, like the first one. this will even work. Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display, they weren't designed for humans. But it's worth a shot. Hmm. You've been dead for several hours. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath. Dead. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me... to life. I feel more powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Okay. Maggie, do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. I think so. Brink isn't dead anymore, Maggie. <laughs> you have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait, I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The display there showed it bringing someone back to life. So I tried it. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. Yeah, you... I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. <laughs> you felt perfect before. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. <laughs> Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. You got it, Maggie. So now that we've got two people, maybe we can try to pry that door open. If he just doesn't run away. Is he coming? Yeah, okay. And he even walks perfectly.
So let's try to get that door open. Frank, would you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, three. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. They have found the secret of life, and they want to share. Mm. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us, these crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lo. These crystals are the antidote for death, that's what it meant. Yeah, you could put it that What way. if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. And using Wait, them? I think you're wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? That's a good question. Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Well, I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not gonna use them. But you will, Commander. Okay, now let's try... ...to get that red door open, wherever it is. It's just so awesome. Okay, so since this hasn't been the right door... This doesn't really seem to be red. Maybe this one does look red. So what was it again? Okay, that seems to be right. Blue.
Bingo. Got it. The other trams came as soon as mm. I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. There's a canister. Oh, this looks a lot like the display chart. A canister? Didn't I see a picture of something like this in one of the museum displays? Damn right, Watson. So maybe... Answer me. Brink, can you hear me? <laughs> Where are you? Just great. Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive. Or they altered his personality or something. A ghost tried to warn us, but Brink was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. <laughs> Maybe it's my deodorant. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. So let's look at these loose bones. So we have to get down underwater, but we cannot as long as this beast is moving around. So there must be a way to kill it. And the only thing I can think of would be...
this looks pretty good. You just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. <laughs> How about a little alien explosive device? And let's revive that sucker. Safe to go into the water right now. Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another rod. Another engraving. And this one is orange. Okay. Nice view. Indeed. Nothing more here. Nice hop. So, with another engraving. Should be this one. It totally looks like orange. Green cube. When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor.
So, 